So yeah, hey, I'm Paul, this is Tim, and we're going to unbox uh, the new Xbox 360. They're calling it the Xbox 362. They're calling it the Xbox 360 250 gigabytes. So right, it's not but slim, it's, there's no real Yeah, there's no name to it, it's just the Xbox 360. And the, we've got one to unbox right here, it's all ready to, to go, and uh, let's go for it. Alright. I'm going to take some pictures. It's even got a great little green bow on it for us, just like Christmas. Big box. Yeah, the box is actually no it's, smaller than the current box. It's, and I feel like it's, it's almost like heavy too. It's still quite heavy. Oh, man. Alright. Warranty information. Start here. We won't start here. <laughs> Alright, here it is. It's different, it's different nice, padding. Nice shoes. Probably wear this around. But, uh, no. Okay, yeah, anyway. Moving on. Just dig into that later. Ah, here we go. There it is. All right, this is the new Xbox 360 250 gigabyte. It's easily as heavy as the current model. Um, it feels a lot like an original PS3 in terms of the finish. It's definitely got that piano glass fingerprint magnet for sure. This is a touch button now, so there's no give at all. We've got two USB ports up front here. Lots of grill everywhere. Big vent on the bottom. Big vent on the side with a big fan in there. And then a big grill on the top as well. So we have three more USB ports in the back, total of five. Also have HDMI here. Optical audio is integrated. Let's put this over this way. We've got Ethernet, although of course we've got 802.11n built in as well. And then the AV blockout. This is a new power connector compared to the current one, which we've got uh, the nail end on this end. And then somewhere out here, there's the new hard drive. I have to ask about that. There is a way to remove the current hard drive. It's hard to do it elegantly. <laughs> um, you can see there's a 250 gigabyte label on it. and then I can just pop it out. Now how do you go about transferring data from existing Xbox? So if you have an existing console, um, it's the same data transfer process that we have today, actually. Yeah. So you can use the data transfer kit, okay. which we are actually going to make a retail product. So you can now buy, buy that for $19.95 right. uh, in the US. You can also do uh, transfer via USB thumb drive. So we enabled that. You know, a month or so ago, um, you can take you know up to, up to 16 gigs of data and move it over USB, uh, or you can do auto download via Xbox Live. So uh, for any PDLC or anything else you've downloaded, you can re-download that uh, to the new console. Are there any like speed changes to the drive? Is it just larger? Or are there any optimizations you guys have done as far as for? For, that might actually improve like game load times or anything. No, so p performance. You know, the drives are always going to be going up in performance, uh, but there wasn't. You know, there's there's always optimization, but nothing specific. You know, it's okay. not twice as fast or anything, anything like that. Right. All right. So let's get back to the power brick here, which is quite light now compared to the uh, the original one, but uh, not really that much smaller. It's still a light here on this side. See what else we have. Power cable. Here is the uh, AV adapter, and I'm not seeing anything HD. This is composite, so we've got uh, standard definition out of the box so far. 
We have an Xbox 360 headset in black to match the console. And a black controller as well. So again, pretty standard stuff. Is that the same as with the Elite? I believe it is. Here. Or is it the, the shiny? Is that different? They did mention that they made its chrome to match the new console, so it could be, uh, could be a slightly redesign. Yeah, obviously not in a different shape, but as right. far as color tone. Right. Some of batteries? It does have batteries. So there's no HD cable? No HD. Should we connect this? Bam! Ah, so you just touched the, uh, yeah, that's the, touched the tray now? You just, you just, there's oh, a little jack on Paul, do you know that again? There's a beep confirmation for everything there, too. I was not aware that this is all. Yeah, good. they got rid of HDMI not too long ago. Oh, there's a connector. Oh, they already got a plug uh, Alright, they pre plugged it in. We're going to be booting this up in the power of standard definition. Future. Yeah. That's what we want. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. That's interesting. It's showing that it, it detected a wireless adapter, even Wait. though it's actually built into it. Now, should we collect some yeah, batteries? Yeah, let's power it up and let's see how, how loud it gets. That's good. It draws a little bit quicker, too, than the other one. So, uh, that's the Xbox 360 250 gigabyte. We've got it unboxed, connected. We've got Allen Lake going. We've got some fresh Duracell batteries in our controller here, so uh, hopefully it won't go out on us when the monsters start coming. And um, it's in stores uh, shipping today, so if it's not there today, it should be there tomorrow. And um, looks looks nice, small. It's certainly quieter for sure. And uh, will it last four or five years like the current Xbox 360 has? Uh, we'll see. And also, what's reliability going to be? We'll find out about that, too.